I am the friend of the voice of Linkin Park. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is that's what, I'm a dark guy, you know. I like I I connect with writing dark lyrics. Um, I I kind of ventured out a little bit on this record and, and wrote a couple love songs for the first time, um, but even those are kind of creepy and, and, and dark in some ways. I think that's actually one thing that's really similar to Lincoln Park and and um, you know when you hear the lyrics that I write in Lincoln Park, they're dark as well. Um, but I think, you know, these are definitely more focused on my experiences. I don't really write about characters having, like I do in Lincoln Park, you know, where, you know, I might write a story about somebody that may be ha experiencing something, whereas in, in, in Dead by Sunrise, I kind of just write about my own experiences and my own feelings, and um, I'm the main character. You know, um, one of my uh, many psychiatrists or psych whatever the fuck they are, um, mental people, you know, that help me with my brain, um, have said that I that I apparently uh, apparently like uh, am comfortable with uh, chaos and and feeling uncomfortable. So, um, you know, uh, yeah, enjoying things is actually really difficult for me apparently. <laughs> There were many nights that, uh, you know, I, I honestly wasn't sure if I was, you know, gonna survive. Um, you know, we, I kind of, I kind of drink more and party longer than everybody else. You know, everybody else is kind of, is kind of done, and I keep going, kind of thing. And uh, so, you know, that usually doesn't work out very well. So, um, yeah, so that's really where the, the name came from. I kind of don't like to to for people to consider it like a side project because um, it really is you know we we are a band and we make we made record and we're going to make more records and um, you know I, I think that uh, the idea of this kind of just being a, a one off thing it's like why even bother doing it you know. All the record labels away and all of the labels in you know all the name labels and the categories and the genres away we're really a group of guys that are friends that like to play music together so we're you know extremely passionate about it and he said something that was definitely totally true it's the only thing that really makes us happy so you know definitely incredibly special to, to us that and puppies, puppies. <laughs> <laughs> I got to have people right up in front of the stage and you know, you know, rub my balls on their faces when I jump in the crowd and and uh, you know, have and, and, and it's like an experience that is pretty cool that uh, you know, um, being in Lincoln Park it's kinda like we've gotten to the point where when we get on stage, you know, we're fifteen feet in the air and there's a barricade twenty feet away from the stage and it's like, you know that intimacy is is it's still there because it's like a you know that's that's what fans bring to the to the live element, but it's totally different than being down in the crowd. We did. We actually went our very first live performance. Um, we played about half the record um, uh, acoustically uh, for about 500 people. Um, in this really cool little theater in uh, 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 Las Vegas, and um, it was interesting. We didn't know what to expect. I mean, we, I, I, we all got really, really nervous before we played, and um, we'd never really played together as a as a as a unit like that. We really hadn't. We did a little. We did at, one, at a Julian K show. We kind of did the encore as Dead by Sunrise, and that was kind of you know that was kind of low pressure. It was totally a club tattoo event, which Chester owns, and there was it was really kind of we'd already been up there for an hour playing, and it was kind of fun. It was four songs, and we were plugged in, but acoustically, never having played together before. I go. I, I visit a lot of fan sites. Um, I, I don't really ever know where they're coming from, but. Um, 
there's a lot of really good fan sites out there, actually. They actually know more about my life than I do, which is pretty interesting. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.